how to live to be a hundred, how to accommodate and set up your life to be a hundred, the things that I'm doing to promote becoming 100 years old plus. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. You know, I want to live to be 100. I talked about that in another video, my reasons. I feel like we all have divine purpose, and I feel like I have a lot of divine purpose left in me here on earth. And while I have divine purpose, I know that I need to be here to complete it, and I need to be well to do it. I just don't want to be rocking away in a rocking chair. I mean, that's perfectly fine. I have rocker chairs right here, you can see. Um, but I don't want to be doing that all the time maybe just a little bit, you know, and uh, I want to be able to drive a car, I want to be active, I want to be fit, I want to be healthy. I realize the older we get, there can be obstacles, challenges, difficulties, but we've got to stay focused to get through those and know that we will, and we've got to keep our eye on the ball. Why do I make 100, uh, a, it's a number, uh, why do I make it a goal? Because it's significant for me. I feel that that gives me enough time to do what I need to do while I'm here. And there are people that depend on me that love me. And uh, there are situations I want to be a part of. I want to help people. I want to be a part of many people's lives to celebrate with my family ongoing and also to be there for them. And I don't want to be a burden on them if I don't have to be. I want to be uh, some somebody that can bless their life and be there to support them and celebrate with them. And so I want to live to be 100. So the things that I'm doing is I take great care of me. Are there any guarantees? No. Guarantees, guarantees, I, I call them guarantees. <laughs> and um, no, there aren't. Just because we do everything right, there are no for sures. And yet, one thing I believe for sure is if we do the right things, we're setting things in motion that it's more likely to happen what we focus on than if we don't give it focus. If we're doing the wrong things, it's probably going to work against us. If we're doing the right things, it's going to work for us. And so I want to do all the right things in my life. I want to take great, perfect care to the best of my ability of my health, exercise, fitness, eating healthy, um, keeping around positive people, staying focused on my goals and not on where I don't want to be, but staying focused on where I do want to be in life, um, drinking plenty of healthy water, resting, taking my time, doing, um, being uh, alert to safety, any kind of safety. Even, you know, at 65 now, when I go down the steps, I hold onto the rail. I just, well, most of the time. Um, but if I don't hold onto the rail, I'm very, very focused on those steps. And so I'm doing everything to take care, to be, you know, precautions, um, and setting my life up. You know, they have these little things you can wear around your neck and push a button someday. If I'm really, really old and need one of those, I'll just push a button if I need, you know, um, if I need to, and then someone's there for you. I want to live independently. I want to live in my own home. I want to drive my own car. I want to um, exercise, dance every day. I want to be financially independent to take care of myself. I want to surround myself with the people that I love, whether they live in with me or whether they live near me. Um, I want to set my life up so that I am around people one way or the other, even if it means buying a camper and uh, driving it and parking in their driveway periodically, you know, uh, whatever it means, you know, that I can live my best life. And so I come up with different ideas and different plans and different possibilities. Some I may use, some I may not use. And, uh, and setting my life up, it's important to set your life up financially so that you can be okay to the best of your ability. Live the frugal lifestyle so that you have the ability to live out the rest of your life in a comfortable manner. Um, you know, when I say frugal, I don't mean cheap. Cheap is a totally different word, and, but I mean frugal. You, you, you uh, cut corners in one area so that you can get what you really want or need in another area. And, and so that's what I do. That's what I do. I'm always thinking of ways to be frugal. How can I take care of my health? And that's what I'm always, my mindset is, and, and doing the things, not just talking about it or thinking about it, but I actually do because remember, it's in our actions that our lives are, are created, not just in our thoughts. It starts with our thoughts, but it goes into our actions. And so we want the right actions. And, um, and surrounding myself with right people, um, having doctors in place that if I ever need them, the, the, even I made up a hospital bag with all my little things if I ever needed to suddenly go to the hospital. Now, hopefully I will never need to use it. It's just like my generator 
there for electricity if in the event I needed to use it. I hope I never need to use it, but it's there if I do. And so you kind of set your life up for things that, that you hope never happen, but if they do, you're ready for them to the best of your ability. And so you surround yourself with uh, the right professionals if you ever need them, and hopefully you don't, of any kind. You and so you know who to call and you also build in a support team. If you don't have family, create a great network of friends by joining groups of some kind that will, that you can get to know people on an intimate level. Keep your calling card with you so that they have your point of contact, you have their point of contact. Um, so set your life up for success so that you can live to be a hundred. You can live successfully. You can live happily and actively. You don't want to just sit there and do nothing. You want to be active in my opinion, at least I do. And, uh, and so live your best life starting today. And there's nothing wrong with hoping and planning and m uh, creating the right actions to live to be a hundred plus actively and healthy. That's the key. We want to be healthy and active. And if we have to go through obstacles, we go through obstacles, but we get through them or around them, pa bypass them, and we keep on with our best life. Okay? From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.